announcement, patients with broken wind arriving. So I thought I'd start off this episode with a bit of a time lapse. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm moving the training room all the way down there. Lots and lots of seats. I was finding that my training room was getting full, plus it was kind of in the way, right in the middle. Then I also took the research lab, moved that down there, got a computer and a atom analyzer, I think it's called, and an extra desk as well. And I uh, put a load of staff in there. Did a bit of staff management as well. Um, then I made that staff room a lot bigger. Um, it was much too small before. Put another ga games machine in. Probably I need a pool table as well. Um, and then moved the psychiatric ward. So I just wanted to tidy it all up. I probably should go back and tidy up that row to make it all five width. Um, but actually I quite like the way the Kit Kat machine kind of sits back um, in there. And then finally, uh, the other thing I did was um, put in the bathroom. I uh, made it a lot bigger um, for all of the uh, patients because I, it was very small and tucked in the corner. Um, and with that space I was able to put in a nice new GP's office as well. Okay guys, um, back again. Um, so we're going to have a look at this now. So as you just saw, I moved the training and I moved the research down to the bottom here. Um, I'm probably going to extend this staff room down here, but I'm considering whether to put something in here or maybe just put the ward across here. Um, so I haven't decided on that yet, but I quite like just... I know you don't need it, but just from a sense of uh, being like real life, I like to have the ward and the, uh, the operating theatre right next to each other. Okay. Call me silly or whatever you want. Um, so we're going to speed up the game a little bit, we've got quite a lot of patients coming in now, um, I'm still killing a lot of people, but my research should be okay, you know, it's up, upping the drugs, oh that was one thing actually, so I hadn't seen this before, but there was an atom uh, analyzer I think, and then there was a supercomputer, so I had a look at both of them, so I'll, um, and I'm going to attempt to cure my patients again. Um, because I think that gave me a little bit of a boost to my, uh, or at least didn't deplete my my, uh, my reputation. Which is quite important right now because I don't have a huge amount of reputation. Um, these guys, are they just waiting? Queuing for the operating theatre. Okay. Um, they're not my emergency at least. Cured. Anyone else with your little, what looks like a green frog above your head, I wonder. Let's have a look. No, all good, all good. One place where you kind of miss them quite easily is if they're lying in the beds, but they're not, and that's good. Um, I really like my layout, it's very, you know, oh, this is a really horrible uh, hospital kind of look, so. Um, yeah, so. Um, we'll just keep the speed up, let's have a look how we do it. So, we need 300,000 and we need to kill 500 people. Now, I don't... Oh, there's... Ah, uh, come on, get you, get you. Oh, what does that mean? Are you spreading it or does that mean that you've been killed? I didn't realise anyone else would get the illness, so let's keep it at normal speed. Let's look around to make sure we're doing okay. So it looks like we are. I'm not sure if this guy. I don't know why I can't deal with him. For some reason. Oh gosh. Did I need to get a nurse near you? Stand near him. Sort him out. Ah, oh, going there. Being cured at least. Ah. Okay, that's good. Ah, so maybe that means it's non vax You know, you can't vaccinate them, but you can take them and give them a bit of a potion. That's what we got here. Okay, some more doctors. Train them up. Get everyone at a good level. Consultant in everything, that's what we want. 75 again. Um, 
wage request. I always, I don't know why, but I feel like it just can knock itself off. So official invitation, of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So I got six thousand in reputation, uh, in compensation, and my reputation hasn't gone down. So looks like my hospital value is good enough. I've treated enough of my patients. I just need a hell of a lot more. So what we're going to do is we're going to just run the game on now. I'm going to deal with any kind of emergencies or whatever that come up, but pretty much I'm just going to let the game plod along so we can earn a bit of money. Uh, I'll see you in a minute. And there we are, folks. Uh, just hit the number of patients cured. Well, I get 503. So we've got 372,000 in the bank. Uh, we've got Treated 89% of our patients. Uh, we killed 503 of 500, and our hospitals worth 26,000 more than required. So, just going to declare that little epidemic, and the end of the quarter is coming up. Let's watch this nurse typing away. So, we seem to be taking a few of the patients. Oh, okay, there she is. She is nice with it. Yeah, alright, everyone seems okay. Yeah, look at the beds, and sit down and type away again. So as we come towards the end now, um, all those plants of water are very nice. I had to hire a few more handymen to keep the machines in order because we had a few earthquakes. And apart from that, I just kept on hiring doctors. And hopefully, the end is upon us. You have been vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital. To this end, we predict great things for you and would like to offer you a position elsewhere. The salary would be 14,456 and we think you'd love the new challenge it would pose. Move on to the next level. Excellent. Okay, and that's where we're going to leave it there today, guys. Uh, looks like I'm going to need a lot more money to be made this time. Uh, it's going to be a tough one. I think that I've never been on this level before, so hopefully it'll be an exciting and interesting one. So thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.